for the water to transfer. Yeah, that, that pump is really slow. It's the only thing that really sucks about this is how slow that pump is. Anyway, so I'm just sitting here on the tailgate and uh, thankfully, thankfully, it is really, really, really nice out tonight. It is like 70 something degrees, I think. And there's no rain. It was supposed to rain. There's no rain. So I'm just going to sit here and, uh, hey, Morph Suit Man. I'm here. I'm here too. <laughs> Hello again. Hello, people. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, this one's going to take a little longer. See that? That cube is uh, not quite at the green line yet. And then this one's probably like at the orange line. So I got a bit of water to do. Yeah, Saturday night. This is this is what I do for fun on a Saturday night. I sit here and transfer water with my truck and trip. <laughs> Actually, I am coming upon a small crisis, which is I gotta find a place to pee really bad. I was like, uh, there was a security guy walking through the apartment complex. I was talking to him because like right there is like the the clubhouse. I was like, hey, is it unlocked? And he's like, no. Dang it. So, uh, I'm going to have to go find a gas station. What time is it here? Uh, I don't even know. It is 7.13. Find a bush. I might have to. I went to a gas station trying to, you know, go pee. I just bought that pump today. Well, oh, so I, you know, I have a pump mag that we use to flush our uh, water heater. And I was going to use that. And uh, I'll show you the problem. Um, yeah, okay, so check this out. I have a sump pump. Sorry, the pump's loud. Uh, yeah, so I brought my sump pump thinking, oh, well, we'll just use this. And it's a lot faster. It's like a quarter horsepower, so this would have moved water. But um, it won't fit in the hole. It's too big for the hole. <laughs> so, yeah, so I had to go buy this wee little little water transfer pump. Actually, I went to uh, Harbor Freight and cleared them out of everything. So, um, yeah. Wait, you still have no water? Can I bring you water? I mean, yeah, I could bring you some water, man. Um, email me your address and stuff. I can fill up. I have a, oh, God, sorry, I'm on off the tailgate. I have uh, five gallon buckets right there. I can fill those up for you. So are you at an apartment complex that doesn't have water? If so, like call the, the Austin water people thing. Hold on, where's the number? Here, right there. Call that. Oh, is it backwards for you guys or just backwards for me? But uh, what is it? 415-77-3115. Call that number if you need water. You're in a condo? I bet they would be willing to uh, supply a condo. Um, yeah, there you go. So call that number, and uh, if they won't, like seriously, if they won't, just send me an email, dan at normalguyssupercar.com, and I'll fill up those uh, five gallon buckets for you and just drop them off at your house or your condo or whatever. Because, I mean, this is what I'm doing tonight for fun, because I'm lame and bored. <laughs> uh, how much water is actually in this thing? Where's the... Okay, yeah, yeah, so this one's like right here. This one is right at the green line. So we're gonna get that sucker filled up. Ooh, like all the lights on the truck really come in handy, see? I got the these lights, I got the tailgate lights, and then it's got these side view mirror lights for the trailer. Those are badass, so. Aquaman, Dan's delivery, Dan's aqua delivery. <laughs> comes with the fry red trailer <laughs> yeah so okay just checking on the water I don't want the pump to run dry where's Meg Meg is uh, at home she had stuff she actually had to do today so uh, they were asking if I'm gonna help tomorrow I might I haven't decided yet because I need to actually make a video I literally have no content for tomorrow so uh, it's the only problem like so all this Winter Storm Yuri stuff and all this crazy crap that's been going on. I like, I have nothing. I got no content. What does each of those filled containers weigh? 2,200 pounds. Yeah. So, 
when I had the truck fully loaded with the trailer, it was about 10,000 pounds. So pretty cool. 290 in Westgate. Oh, yeah, you're not uh, Westgate. I'm trying to think where that is. I think that's pretty close. Um, but yeah, email me, dude. Uh, oh yeah, the Cummins didn't have a problem. The one problem I have is the, uh, actually it's not really a problem, but so the, the Pro Pride hitch sits super, super low, see? Which is how it's designed. And uh, the one apartment complex that I was pulling into had like a really steep drive. <laughs> and the hitch totally, totally was just like, <laughs> scraping all the way up there. I was like, eh, eh, whatever. And actually pulling out, then, you know, going down the slope, the trailer itself was like just plowing into the concrete. I was like, eh, as long as it doesn't high side, I don't care. It's, it's gonna happen. I mean, whatever. So anyway, that's the. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, screw the content. You're helping people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How can you weigh the trailer? Well, it's got the sticker on the side that says how much it weighs. The trailer itself weighs about 3,500 pounds, and then. We know that those cubes full weigh about 2,000 to 2,200 pounds. So there's three cubes, that's 6,600 pounds, and then 3,500 pounds-ish. It's like plus or minus a couple hundred pounds. So we're a little over 10,000 pounds for the full setup. So it's, uh, that's how heavy it is. Yeah, super awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, the truck didn't really care that it had this much weight. The Cummins didn't have a problem, but the, like I said, it's definitely sagging a bit. I think I might have to get some airbags for the rear suspension. Um, anyway, I'm just, yeah. How's everyone's night? Everyone else doing good? Does my truck have a block heater? No, it didn't have one. Um, yeah, I kind of, the only reason I kind of wanted to do this was hopefully uh, people get inspired to help others when they can, but anyway. And, and honestly, I'm just, it takes, uh, so that thing pumps at like 320 gallons per hour, and it's 275 gallons-ish, so it's like almost an hour to fill up one of these things, so it takes a while. Um, yeah, the Ram can pull 20,000 pounds, so it's, uh, it's not a, like, we're about half of its capacity. I will tell you, it is noticeably more weight than when you're towing a car. And the other thing that's kind of fascinating is the water sloshing. So like you can feel it like rocking back and forth like this. <laughs> it's kind of unsettling a little bit. Ugh, sorry, just check out the water. Okay, it's getting near the bottom. Oh, let's see bright on. There we go. See, it's like right there. I have to switch to the other one soon. All right. We'll make, we'll change pitch once it gets to the, where it's running dry. Plan on taking any hot job? Oh, hot job, or what do they call it? Hot shots? No, I'm not gonna do any hot shots. Stu is grilling, you better take him. Oh, I, I need some barbecue sauce. Does my truck have an exhaust break? Yeah, yeah, it does. Thank God, it helps a lot. Um, that was one of the features I really wanted to make sure it had. Yeah, it's. I love the truck. <laughs> Meg doesn't want to hear that, but I love the truck. It's sweet. Uh, yeah, I, I figure I I uh, needed to build up some good karma because it never hurts to have good karma. So, also, I'm kind of impressed that I have such good stuff. Oh, uh, sorry, I just got a text from. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, just answering a text. The water people were texting me. They wanted to know the cube numbers. Well, it's 21 and 23. Uh, how long have I been helping with delivering water? Today's the first day. Uh, they've been doing it a lot, all, I think since this all started. Adam's helped them quite a few days in a row. Uh, and actually, that's how I got found out about this, is Adam sent me an email or a text or whatever. He's like, hey, uh, can you help haul water? And I was like, well, actually, I was on the road trip picking up that Ferrari in Florida when he texted me. So I'm like, uh, I'm kind of on my way to Florida. 
It's like, well, when you get back, can you help? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So that's what we're doing. We're helping people who need water. <clears throat> Sorry. I know I keep wandering around. It's almost there. Getting there. Slip low scrape guards, yeah. Where are you location? I'm uh, off 290 in an apartment complex called like Menlo or something other. Which part of Austin still needs water? I would love to help out. Uh, quite a few. Um, so there's a bunch of apartment complexes that have no water in the entire complex. So that's, I guess, what we're doing. Um, there's the water line. Must be right at the bar. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Uh, can you put a tote in the bed of the truck? I could. Uh, yeah, I could fit one, I think, not two. Um, but the problem is the capacity of the bed is like 2,600 pounds or something like that. So you can only fit one. And with the trailer, the trailer tongue weight should be about 1,000 pounds. So that means you can only carry 1,600 pounds in the bed. So I couldn't actually fill it up. So. I don't know, we'd exceed the weight capacity of the truck uh, in the bed by doing that, so we're not going to do that. So, yeah, anyway, that's, that's what we're doing. Uh, give the number of the water thing again. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. The water thing number is right here. 415-787-3115. I'm oh, sorry, shoot. That's the only problem with the live stuff when you guys send me a, when I'm doing it on my phone, it like fades away slowly when you guys send a message. So um, I couldn't see it in time because it just disappeared. But um, yeah, in a minute here we're gonna have to tra change out this pump, of this cube. Sorry, it's noisy. Okay, just get it ready. Oh yeah, this one's getting, getting up there, right? Right there. Oh, here we go. Adam's, actually Adam's truck can haul a lot more than my truck. Adam isn't even using the trailer. Uh, he's just using the truck bed because his truck bed can hold two of those things. Like, it can actually haul that much weight. And so that, that way he can just like get right into places without having to deal with the trailer. Because I will say like dealing with the trailer, trying to go into apartment complexes, not very fun. Yeah, so this thing should be almost done. It's almost sucked out all our. We got a video ideal for tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Nick. Dan's even got a matching uniform. Yeah, and the hat. You can buy this. <laughs> can I run multiple pumps? If I had multiple pumps, uh, I cleared out all the pumps at at Harbor Freight. Whoop, hold on. Just got air. One second. Change it over. One sec, one sec. Just gotta actually do what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, the uh, truck can handle 400 watts, and the pump's only like 100 and something. So theoretically, I could run two at once if if I had to. But I don't have. To. Oops, sorry. But I don't have to. Sorry, just change out this thing. Move everything around. One sec. One sec. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, plug it back in. Hold on. All right. There, sir. Back to work. Okay. There. Ah, I can sit for a couple more minutes. All right. There we go. Abnormal guy? I don't know. Water boy. Uh. Yeah, the, truck, the pump is running off this plug right here. So there's a little inverter built into the truck bed, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a pretty handy feature right there. I'm happy about that. I actually have a thousand watt inverter. So even if I had a, like a one horsepower pump, I probably could run it. But again, I cleared out Harbor Freight. <laughs> so, uh, and that was like, uh, the other problem was the uh, plumbing, like, so, they mandated that we use uh, like food grade hose and stuff. Like, so you have to use like RV hose or whatever. And so 
getting those hoses was actually kind of tricky because they're not just like stockpiled everywhere ready to go today so um, I am the truck is idling actually I was showing this early I'll show this again because I think people thought this was really cool Hold on so we're gonna go around to the front of the truck so you know the modern diesels you aren't supposed to idle like at, at slow idle for very long because it's bad for the, the particulate filter and stuff so they have a really cool feature in the ram on so okay so we're in the ram and all right so you can see it's idling at like 1100 right now and so watch i have cruise control going so i'm gonna turn off cruise control see now it's idling at like uh well like oh can you see that eh, where is it i can't see it anyway it's idling at like 600 or something like that so you push the cruise control button see push cruise then you push set and it brings up the idle pretty cool and you can actually like crank it up so uh can i flip it to the other screen uh no it's like i don't know what that is okay i hit the wrong button no i don't want that button sorry okay anyway um why won't that go away now okay there it is hello from argentina yeah so you can uh sit here and like change the idle speed by pushing these buttons watch pretty cool huh but yeah, so you're supposed to run them uh, at like a thousand something RPMs if you're gonna idle it for a long time, because it'll burn up. Otherwise, the uh, the def filter and all of the particulate filters or whatever will get clogged up. Because you gotta get hot enough to burn off all that crap. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. I didn't know about that until Art from EAG showed me, and he's like, "Dude, check this out." Because um, when I went on the road trip to deliver the 458 that I just did. I actually slept in the truck. <laughs> so like if you're gonna sleep in the truck and run the air conditioning overnight, so like basically what I did was I folded up the seats, that's that, and I folded these out and I bought an air mattress and I just slept in the truck. And so, you know, if you're gonna idle the truck overnight, you don't want it to sit at slow speed. Oh, what are you saying, Carrie? Sorry. Send another message, Carrie, it went away before I could read it. I wish there was a way I could keep that up there. Is there? Uh, no. Oh, all messages are visible. Oh, okay. I just changed the setting. Uh, run me some Rudy's. Okay. Carrie just wants Rudy's. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I think maybe it's going to stay now. I clicked the button and no, it faded away. Man, that's really annoying, YouTube. You can, you can do better than that. Anyway. All uh, right. So, well, after I, after I just do some PO video, POV, there is a way to flip it. Um, I've done it before. I don't remember how. Hmm. No. Well, I don't want to mess with it while I'm actually sitting here. Maybe. Nope. Oh, well. So. Uh, is this almost full? No, not quite. Got a little bit more. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just chilling, waiting for water. Super excited. Getting a text from Travis. Let's all chip in to help community service project. Yeah, you could donate to them. I don't know. Maybe are they a nonprofit? <laughs> I actually don't even know. <laughs> Uh, oh, it says austinneedswater.com. Someone go check out the website and see if they're a nonprofit and if you can donate to them. Uh, I just, I guess I'm going to probably donate the pumps because I bought three of them and he's all like, oh, give us a receipt and we'll reimburse you. And now I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. It was like 200 bucks. Whatever. I'll just keep one of the pumps for myself anyway. <laughs> I need a chair. I do. Yeah. I do need a chair. Well, I got the tailgate. That's what the tailgate's for. It even has cup holders. Check it out. The tailgate has cup holders. Look at it. Right there. See? Cup holder. Heck yeah. That's some America shit right there. Uh, Get myself a coffee. <laughs> Thank you. I, actually, I'm going to... After this, I am going to find some food. I haven't eaten since lunch. This is why I was... Uh, uh, Adam and I went to lunch right before we did this. 
and I ate a ton of food because I knew I was gonna be out and about all day and I had no idea uh, when it was gonna, how the step boards, dude, they're awesome. I love the step boards. Yeah, the, uh, the tailgate one's really handy. The, the, the powered ones are epic. Like, if you have a truck this size, you need uh, steps like that because they're really lifesavers. I'm too short. Like, I'm only 5'9", five 5'10". Five I can't get into this truck without those. Yeah, sorry, I'm just kind of constantly checking the water. I don't want it spilling everywhere. Uh, it's almost full. I have to get up on there and stuff. Live stream my devaluation tour. I mean, most of the areas on that tour don't have cell phone reception. It might be a pop-up nonprofit. Yeah, it's weird. How tall am I? I am 5'9 or 5'10. I'm not very tall. So. Okay, that thing's about almost full. I just gotta be ready. Yeah, the, the, the steps are awesome. Yeah, check this out. Ready? Here we go. And they open for front or rear, ready? <laughs> and then it's got two second delay, and then they, there they go. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, and then the other step over here, it's only on the one corner of the truck right, right there. I think it's pretty handy for getting up and down into the truck bed. Okay. Yeah, almost there. Almost full. Oh, Carrie. You didn't have to do that, Carrie. <laughs> Dance running moonshine. How'd you know? <laughs> Starlink on the roof of the car. What's this? Uh... Oh yeah, I know. I actually met some viewers one time and they're like, wow, you're really a lot shorter than we thought. We thought you were way taller. And I'm like, no. <laughs> so I am not that tall. Sorry, just checking out a thing. Uh, how tall is this one? Jeez, I can't even. Uh, okay. I'm at the... Where's Moses? He's at home. Sorry, I'm gonna change out the, the pump real quick. One second. It's gonna be loud. There. All right, hold on. I'm gonna swap this over. Hold on. Oops. Hold on. It's too tall. I'm too short. Yeah. Yeah. One second, one second. Sorry. Hold on, come on, drop my phone into the water. Come on, I sat down. Sorry, you're looking at the sky. Don't drop the phone in the water. That would be a very expensive day. Uh, okay. Is loafer okay? <laughs> yeah, loafer is fine as far as I know. I think all of the NGS crews uh, back in business. I should get some of those totes and fill them with V power. Dude, that would be sweet. I mean, come on, Shell, hook me up. <laughs> oh, oh, there. Oh, something else I added to the trailer, which I didn't actually film this. Which I thought was kind of smart. I put in a diesel can and a gas can because we almost ran out of diesel one of the times. And then, oh, I also added one more thing. I didn't film this, but check it out. Added a camera to the ceiling right here. So when you're loading the car, you can, uh, it's in the back of the trailer. So when you're loading it, you can see, it broadcast to my cell phone. So you can see where it is positioned in the trailer and then I also swapped out the uh, the winch was a cable metal cable I swapped it out for a synthetic rope because those winch cables like are scary and can hurt you and stuff and uh, the rope if the rope snaps whatever they're like 30 bucks and so you know oh and then uh, Harbor Freight I ordered a wireless controller for the winch and they sent me someone else's order so 
I need to, that, that reminds me, I need to call Harbor Freight on Monday and be like, yo, Harbor Freight, I want my thing. <laughs> so, uh, sorry if I keep dancing around, I just have to pee really bad. Yeah, after this, I'm going straight to a gas station or something. Actually, I think they have a bathroom at the Long Center. So that's where we're filling up is at the Long Center. If you know the Austin area, the Long Center is like downtown. And then uh, that's where we fill up with water. And then, uh, yeah. There's that. Okay. It's got a little bit to go. About two more inches. So. <sighs> yes. It's good. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. 2 a.m.? Where are you? That was 2 a.m. there. <sighs> yeah. So now, uh, gotta go truck trailer, put Meg's mini on Coda. <laughs> Get a bottle, close the trailer door, and pee. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that would work. 8.37. Ooh, okay. You're moving to Austin, May? Cedar Park area. Okay. Well, dude, there's a lot of stuff to do. That's fun. You're gonna, you're gonna love Coda. Uh, yeah, Coda's great. Kind of like it's kind of weird. Hopefully, not too many people have seen me like talk to myself on my cell phone for this entire duration. They're probably like, look at this asshole. He's like trying to be cool while he's like talking on the cell phone. And <laughs> I, I actually hate filming in public. Uh, full disclosure, because like I'm not like a super uh, like wanting attention kind of person. Which I know like I'm in the YouTube world, which is like I chose the wrong thing there but uh, yeah I don't want to get a bunch of attention it's kind of strange so anyway um, yeah uh, I don't have a whole lot else to say like I said I'm just doing this because I'm bored I am a very introverted person here we ask questions about your favorite drink alcoholic or non I mean I like beer but wine's great um, Finland She's 3.40 a.m. in Finland. What are you doing up? Why are you up at 3.40 a.m.? It is uh, currently 7.39 here. So, there you go. Uh, all right. 2.38 in Spain. Man, all you super late people. I am uh, not going to be staying up that late tonight because uh, last night we got back from... So we, I picked up that Ferrari 458 in Naples, Florida, left on Wednesday, made it to Naples uh, Thursday morning, drove back and got it dropped off last night, and then I didn't get home until about 10.30 at night. So uh, we did not get uh, Tim's 348 fixed yet. We don't know what's wrong yet. We haven't even cracked it open yet, so we need to do that soon. Oh. We did have some really cool news. I mean, I'm gonna do a full video on this. Um, so gated six, we just got the 599 computers perfected. So uh, on Friday, so we, we were driving, actually, uh, believe it or not, Art from EAG was, uh, he flew out to do a PPI on this Friday, uh, on the Ferrari that we that I drove back. And so he rode back with me. And so um, yeah, EAG fixed the, 599 computer finally uh, it was really difficult so we got that done so now oh and and we just submitted our order for the we finalized the console design so the center console because you know we have to replace the center console in the 509 and it's made of carbon fiber so we just got that finalized and gave them a boatload of money to get those going so um, I think they said the first ones we should get within about two weeks can't wait to see that. Yes, that's gonna be sweet. So, oh, and this morning I got a message from Art and uh, Chris, who's the uh, all right. I should probably actually uh, take that call and, and stuff. So, anyway, ugh, I'm gonna call Adam, and I think we're basically done here. So, Ed Bullion did buy a 509, I'm aware of that. I think. We're going to work on trying to get him to convert it. <laughs> yeah, he needs to convert that thing. 
Okay. Oh, 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 hold on, it's overflowing. Sorry, hold on, hold on. Stop, there. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to waste too much of water. Okay. Oh, oh, I just got splashed. Oops, sorry. Okay. Well, we're gonna call it good. Dark. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, okay. I'm making a mess. All right, I'm gonna wrap up here and uh, go find a place to pee. And uh, thank y'all for watching and listening to me. Yes, please go visit Austin Disaster Relief, austinneedswater.com if you wanna help or something. So uh, yeah, um, that would be very helpful. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for uh, just keeping me entertained for, look at I've been doing this for 30 minutes. Damn, it took 30 minutes to fill that thing up. And it was only like down like there. That's how slow that pump is. Uh, anyway, uh, see you guys later. We'll be doing more stuff soon. Uh, I gotta come up with a video for Monday, so uh, we'll see what I come up with. All right, we'll see you then.